steel guitar. Maybe a, a honky tonk angel or something. Or yeah, yeah, yeah that's a good one because we are all familiar with that. Yeah, yeah. that's, that's right. Kitty Wells tune. And uh oh, you gonna lead us off? Hey, 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 I just did. Hey, I can play a pretty good. <laughs> uh, three, four, one, two. <laughs> Go, uh, Don. We were talking about uh, the strings, and you're getting such a sweet sound out of that Gibson. I know part of it's a guitar. What kind of strings are you using? I use John Pierce strings. John Pierce, well, there again. See, that's a new name for me. I, have they been around forever? Uh, well, I, I'm sure he's been around for several years. I've been with them about three years. They're uh, headquartered in Pennsylvania, like Allentown, Pennsylvania, and. Uh, I, I like their strings, and they they make a good bar for. Oh, the bar too. Yeah, it's a Chubb Pierce bar. It's kind of a Dobro, uh, eight string bar. Yeah. For those of us who can't hold a round bar anymore. And, I, uh, I used a bar like that when I first started, but it didn't have. Well, that I'm back where I first started. 
I mean, you could get that thing hung up in those strings real good trying to jump across. Yeah. You know, I jumped across things when I was younger. <laughs> yeah, I just press board, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. You had a bad thing happen to your finger that you were too pretty good from, and uh, one well, of your buddies really was a, a major factor in that. Yeah, about two and a half years ago, I, I was on my riding lawnmower, and I thought the belt was getting hot, and I, I left the engine running, but I got off to check the belt. And when I took hold of it, it, it snatched my hand through some pulleys and things. And it, what they, they said it degloved one of my fingers. Just degloved. Yeah. yeah. And uh, my wife drove me to the hospital, and I, I kept thinking, Lord, what have I done? Yeah. And there was nobody. They said, Well, we have to amputate that right quick. And my wife said, No, wait. Well, let's wait. Said it, about an hour, there'll be a somebody out here that'd like to look at that. I said, well, I'll, I'll wait. So I sat there, and in about an hour, this young doctor walked in, and he looked at it, he said, I, I might be able to save that. I said, I want to talk to you. Yeah. And uh, he said, well, I might, I'll have you playing good as you ever did. He knew who I was. I said, Doc, we need to beat that a little if we can. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, they went, they did their thing, and they took me in the operating room, and they did all that. They had to restructure one finger, and I'd lost a portion of that finger. I had to use a, a much longer pick. Yeah. And my friend George Edwards, who played steel for Kitty Wells for so many years, was there when I went into the hospital, and, and later when I came out, he was right there every day. And he took a lot of time. He encouraged me more than, than anything. He said, you can't give it up now. You gotta hang in there. We got, you know, like we gotta do that, we gotta do that. And I, I knew right then I had somebody on my side, you know. Yeah. And uh, I had, by this time I had